Today we are in East London, in Timothy's house. And because it's Monday, he is going to cook for us a bubble and a squid. This dish has been around since 18 centuries and you know that apparently they used to have a tool called bubble and squids scrapper because they used to scrap him the crunch bit that they get stuck into the pan. Maybe Timothy has some bits in his pan. Let's find it out. Welcome to my house. <laughs> Bubble and squeak. It's an old yeah. traditional English meal. Mm -hmm. um, it was made, actually it was very popular in the Second World War when there was food rationing and people couldn't, uh, couldn't get enough to eat. So they didn't waste anything. So anything that was cooked on a Sunday, like a, you know, roast beef and and Yorkshire pudding or you know potatoes and cabbage and things um, anything that was left over they would cook on the Monday so this and is a Monday this dish. is a Monday dish yeah nice. um, and it's called bubble and squeak because the sound of the bubbling uh, when you're boiling the potatoes ah. which actually you did on a Sunday so, <laughs> so, <laughs> we have so you had to time. boil the potatoes to cook the Sunday lunch so the bubble is for Sunday. The squeak actually is, is the cabbage cooking on a Monday. Yeah? So it's a half dish Monday, half dish Sunday. Yeah, yeah. So bubble Sunday, squeak Monday. Monday. Okay, so this is Sunday, right? Sunday. Today is Sunday. So probably cut them into quarters or eighths, you know. Because, you know, Sunday roast, they would have roast potatoes probably. So they'd be about this size, not really small than that. But um, for our purposes, we're going to mash them anyway, aren't we? So, um, <coughs> so this will take a little while to, to heat up. But we want to listen. Well, it, it's got a bubble for. I mean, you know, it's not going to bubble instantly, is it? We can wait. We can wait. No. <laughs> put some salt in. Maybe that'll help the bubbling. Bubbles! Look at them. That makes That's sense. That's pretty amazing. You was right. All right, so we have a cabbage here. Mm -hmm. um, beautiful cabbage, isn't it? Who's that artist? You know, the... Uh, yeah, I guess this is Magritte. And I'll be um, the back end of Magritte. <laughs> you just tear it up. So Although we just get rid of the, uh, the hard bits, like that. So we don't need that. We just chuck that away. The Swedish cook now. Yeah, no. the boot. Whoops. <laughs> it can be any leftovers. I mean, generally it's cabbage and potatoes, but you can if there are carrots or onions or actually I'm going to fry an onion just to make it tastier. So we'll cut an onion up. And um, and as you cut, you go around. So, so it's kind of unified. It's all the same. See, when you're when you're cutting cabbage, you cut along the grain. Yeah. You don't cut across because then it doesn't disturb the molecules. Same. It's the same that when you are cutting fabric to make a costume. Yeah. 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 You have to cut along the line of the fabric. Yeah. Should we start cutting our clothes? Uh, uh, let's say uh, let's do that for the end of the episode. Next episode. Yep. We are going to cook now the ingredient for Sunday? Monday? Yep. Well, Monday. It's, it's already cooked. Monday, yeah. Uh, so the food is already cooked because it's leftovers from Sunday. And today is Monday. Here we have, here's some leftovers. So we got some boiled potatoes and some cooked cabbage there. Great. And I found <laughs> a bit of mouse. No, it's not mouse actually. No, this is butternut squash. Um, and I thought I'd just throw that in as well because you know it's leftovers. It's left. Waste not, want not. Yeah. Okay. So that. Now we'll mash the potatoes up. Um, right. Mash potatoes. Mash potatoes. Now we mash it up with with the cabbage. Mm, yummy. 
kitchen area which is a long walk in the west wing so uh, do you think take the little buggy in let me take a, a brief and we go oh. okay <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> that but uh, here's here's some pre squeaks okay i'm going to make these into i don't know Several patties. Mm -hmm. uh, then, well, I suppose I could do that. Ah, ah. Hey. Yeah, that's a happy, happy face. Happy face. Yeah, happy and, a, and a sad. Now this is the uh, the great moment. Chen 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 chen. Sounds like a squeak. It does, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. In French, it's bulle. 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 That sounds German. Bulle. <laughs> Bühler. We have a bühler. Yeah, it's not good. We have a bühler. Oh no. This is the first time I've ever cooked this in my life. This is the second time I've ever cooked this. No. I cook this every Monday. Ah. It's really important to have it browning on both sides, just to give it that nice look. Can you still hear it? The squeak is squeaking. It's squeaking. It's very shy. Mm. Yeah, if you get too close or if you talk too loudly, okay. it'll stop squeaking. Yeah? Okay. It's not like the potato. No. It's very bubbly. It has a bubbly yeah. personality. Yeah, but the squeak has a... The squeak is a very shy, yeah. very shy. Yeah. Ah. There we are. I think that's the biggest squeak it's going to make. Mm -hmm. 